Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be focusing for anybody who is returning to Warframe, whether you guys have been out for a few years and you guys are interested or you've heard about the uh, new war update. This, uh, this video is going to be focused for you guys to try and help you get back into the game. Now right here, I have composed a document uh, and I'm going to put the link to this document inside the video description. Uh, but this document is going to be covering the last three years worth of major and mainline updates. So the year 2021, 2020 and 2019, as you can see respectively here. So if there's any of these that you stop playing around or any of these years that you stop playing around, you can simply just scroll to that year and then hopefully go ahead and find out uh, what you've missed. So let's go ahead and just talk about the year 2021. Uh, for example, so any of the prime warframes and weapons that came out this year, you got Unitas Prime, your Strand Prime, and Magnus. Again, I try to go and make sure that it was categorized so that you guys can understand what these weapons are, uh, if they're primary or a melee or a secondary, you kind of get the idea. So new warframes and weapons like Yureli and Sephagoth and their signature weapons, the Compressor and Epitaph, uh, new, uh, new weapons inside the game, the Kuba weapons, the Tanet weapons, and I've just categorized them as well as so you can see which ones are melees and so forth primary weapons melee weapons you get the entire idea new companions weapons the hounds from the sisters of parvos update and even not the sentinel that came out this year as well uh, even put out a note in here about things like helios with deconstructor and gladiator mods if you know you know if you don't know that's okay don't worry it's not too important to you uh the kuba gratler that came out the railjack version 3.0 and i try to keep this as simplified as i could talking about the new mechanics intrinsics components you get the old idea like even the new missions void storms and so forth so trying to just collect all of that data and keep it nice and uh, simplified for you guys. The new quests that you may have missed, like the Wave Rider, the Yoreli quest line, and the Call of Tempestari. Since the Parvos update, now obviously keep in mind there are things within this document that would also include into the Sister of Parvos update, but I've kind of just took them out into their own categories and their own genres, if you will. So there are new types of liches like the Corpus Queenpins, the Sisters of Parvos. They obviously have new weapons, but again, as I've mentioned that above the Tanet weapons, you can find them simply here. So um, new Requiem mods, new Requiem ultimatums, and even like the final fight for liches and sisters have changed and you find them inside a the Railjack mission. So it doesn't give you exactly all of the context, but it gives you a rough idea as to what kind of change. A new arcanes inside the game, like the uh, the merciless deadhead and dexterity for the primaries and secondaries. New mods. I haven't mentioned the galvanized mods, and although it only says in this notepad that they are currently meta mods going get, I really mean that they are meta mods. Like, please go get them, okay? One of the one of the more important mods uh, that you should go ahead and pick up. Now, when it does come to mods, as you could imagine, there's lots of new mods inside the game, and there's lots of buffs and nerfs. But there's no point in me overly covering every single little one. It would take me ages it would almost take me double the amount of time it took me to compose this document so what i'm going to go and say is that yes there are new augment mods yes there are new mods and yes some mods have been birthed uh birthed buffed and nerfed um so i did go and give you an example here things like blood rush and condition overload if you're returning this year let's say that you played in the year 2020 but you returned in 2021 well blood rush and condition overload did go and receive a nerf so just keep that in mind don't panic like you don't have to start taking them out your builds they're still very strong right but they're not as strong as what they used to be no resources inside the game uh so you can go ahead and have a little look towards them even the uh, regal aya and aya that came out just recently still path updates uh this is mostly just going to say to people that there has been new rewards and the acolytes is where you're going to get the new arcades um I know some people didn't really like the way that Steel Path was introduced with the lack of rewards, so just mention it that there are new rewards there. New Helmet for updates as well, Helmet for Vigorations, and new Helmet for levels with new abilities that you can go and pick up. The new Dojo Room, like the Vent Kids Bash Lab, uh, is also out there, but you can get your Ready components currently and uh, Ghoul Saw components as well. The new Marshy Rank Legendary Rank, which comes after Marshy Rank 30. Prime Resurgence, which was just released, uh, which is basically the, the new resurgence of kind of like Prime Vaults, if you will. Again, you can just read it more here or you can find more on the official Warframe website. And there's uh, just a couple of miscellaneous and noteworthy things like Riven Unveilers and a couple of Warframe tweets here and there. Now, that's just give you an idea of so Warframe 2021. So basically what's going on this year. Now, as we approach New War, obviously New War stuff would be included in here. But since that's not out yet, there's no, no point in me writing about it. But as you can see here, uh, 2020 updates. Again, I'm just going to give you a quick scan so you can see everything that you see in here. Again, categorized weapons, um, companions, uh, pri uh, prime Warframes, Warframes new rail uh, new uh, k drives new mechanics inside the game i've also tied in as well some of my videos or if you guys need uh descriptions or explanations as to what is shield gating i've got no idea how is that you simply just click here and go and view the video as well 
same same goes with everything else down here so just to give you a quick idea feel free to go and browse and read whatever it is whenever it is that you uh, left off but hopefully that helps you okay um again the main reason why i covered the last three years of warframe was because uh we ended the year 2018 with fortuna now fortuna had one of the highest all-time concurrent players within warframe so it feels like most people kind of left off there and maybe they picked up here but just gonna go ahead and say it if you guys do want me to compose uh a 2018 section as well um i'm more than happy to go and do that but i'm just gonna need to go and see if this is something that people need or want uh, if there are any other notes that i may have missed here you can always go and read this section here and um if there is anything that you deem that i've missed important um that was integral to the gameplay or um should be added in for uh, returning players please go and leave a comment inside the video description what i'll do is i'll take the highest and most commonly uh, asked questions or uh helpful advice and i'll just go ahead and start adding it to the document i may not take everything i will take as much as i possibly can all right uh, once again guys uh, the link for this uh, document is inside the video so feel free to go and pick it up but i really do hope this has helped uh if you're new returning to the game or if you're returning to the game i hope this has helped you and i hope this has also helped any friends or family members clan members alliance feel free to share the document it's completely out there i really hope it helps you guys and if it does i'd appreciate any support so if you guys like the video don't forget to uh, if you guys want to go and leave a comment or any feedback please go ahead and let me know and uh, share the video uh, but as always guys if you're new to the channel consider hitting the subscribe button and i will catch you guys again in the next video